It's late July. Why should you do any tissue testing now? Hey, Rod here at A Better Way to Farm where we increase yields and improve profits. Guys, here's the deal. We have nothing to stand on that says applying micronutrients after R1 pays, with the exception of boron. If we're boron deficient, we tend to get a pretty good response there. We know when we're spraying fungicide, we can put some 26% nitrogen with it. But why should we tissue test now? Because school is never out. Tissue testing now helps us make better decisions in 2026. And we're learning a lot this year. Obviously, with all the rapid growth that we've seen in these crops, tissue tests are a bit different, perhaps, than they would be normally. But the fact of the matter is, I've seen some guys who did exactly what the soil test called when they planted, did exactly what the tissue test called for at V3, exactly what it called for at V8, and now coming in at this R1, R2 stage, they're in pretty good shape. And my goodness, does their crop look good. I'm getting continuous calls. This is the best crop we've ever had. It has responded to everything that we have done. Thank you so much. Guys, whether you work with us or not, I encourage you, pull some tissue tests, get them in Midwest Labs, and let's look at the NP and K. Let's also look at all of the micros and secondaries so that we can make better decisions for 2026 and make it even a better year than we're going to have now.